Well, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, has issued a disaster declaration for Central and Southeast Michigan. That's after the devastating and deadly storms back in August. Kyle Macon joins us now with more on how people here in mid-Michigan can get some financial help. Kyle? Sherry Siobhan, the National Weather Service, says seven tornadoes touched down across the state on August 24th. Today, I spoke with FEMA officials who say they're sending crews to Michigan to speak with people whose properties were damaged because of those storms and might need financial assistance. It's just something maybe you don't want to talk about, you know, or something you're uncomfortable dealing with, but the fact is if you have damages, that, that's reason FEMA's here, is to help people financially. From August 23rd until the 26th, Michigan saw severe storms and tornadoes that crippled the area, including communities here in mid-Michigan. Five people were also killed as a result of the weather. The storms brought flooding, downed trees, destroyed houses, and caused widespread power outages. And when the weather cleared up, the damage was clear. To try to ease some of the financial burden, FEMA issued a disaster declaration, which frees up federal funding to help with those costs. Damaged assessments are done and the, the state submits an application to the Federal Emergency Management Agency and it, it's evaluated for magnitude and severity and then we determine you know when to uh, issue the declaration. The president signs the declaration not not the agency. Starting tomorrow crews with FEMA will be going door to door in central and southeast Michigan to help people apply for the assistance. The federal organization says it will only provide funds for things that were uninsured. FEMA assistance goes to people for their primary residents. For example, if you owned a second home, you wouldn't be eligible to get FEMA assistance for those repairs. But what we want to do is get people back on their feet in their primary residence and get, you know, provide them the financial assistance they can, they can use to help them recover. So if you've had any damages whatsoever and you feel like you, you know, you, you need to get some financial assistance, don't hesitate to register. For more information on how to apply for some of this disaster money, we have a link to FEMA's website on our website at WLNS.com. Tonight, FEMA also wants people to be on the lookout for scammers pretending to be FEMA officials. The real teams will have photo IDs in the field, and if you're unsure, you can call the FEMA hotline, which is on the bottom of your screen. FEMA does not have end dates for the disaster declaration and plans on working until the job is done. Back to you. All right, that's great information for our viewers. Absolutely. Well,